Hi everyone, hope you're all having a great day. Anyways, it rained again last night, so everything's wet again. But it's supposed to get up to the 70s today, but it's kind of cloudy here right now. So, anyways, I buy cinnamon orange clove soaps that I made two batches of. I also made some little hand soaps for Easter. Oops. Mm. Oh, where's the egg wood? Mm. And here's a different basket wood. But these are the cinnamon orange clove hand soaps. And today I'll be cutting up the ginger pumpkin, which I made these bigger in bars. Which I had a left over for my batch. So let's get cutting on this ginger pumpkin soap. I really like the colors that turned out on these. I've been still practicing on some of the colors because with some of the essence oils, the colors tend to turn out different than they look when you first pour them. So I'm still getting the colors down so that I write a bit by book so I remember what colors I want. But I think I'm going to keep using this for the the ginger pumpkin because it turned out so beautiful. Look at that. And I put my own swirl on these. So this is the top of it. It's the side. That's the bottom. And that's the other side. So, shall we? Let's get cutting. Mm. And I'm going to use the crinkle cutter which I like a lot better than the, the regular cut. So, here we go. My son was gonna make me a soap cutter but the only thing is I told him I like the crinkle cut better than the, the wire, you know. So I don't know if they'll be able to rig something up like that. So we'll see. But until then, I have been using this. Like I said before, I already sold the wood brick of the orange cinnamon clove, so I had to make another brick, which I cut yesterday. So I have some to sell, because I was totally out. So I made the brick for the lady, and then I made a brick for my backup, just in case I had orders, more orders of that. I have soap already made. And like I said, after I cut these, from the time I cut them, I have to let them cure for a month before I can sell them or use them. So it takes 24 hours after I pour them into the bowls for them to set up. And then, then I can cut them like I'm doing with this now. So from today until... From a month from today is what I'll be able to use these. So, yeah. 
So, anyways, this is the pumpkin, or this is the, yeah, it's ginger pumpkin, and I really love the way that turned out. That's a scrap piece, and they're an inch thick. I really like the way the design turned out of these, the swirl I did out of. They are just beautiful. And they smell so yummy. But these are not edible. So do not eat them. If you eat them, it's your own fault because you were told these soaps, even though they smell yummy, they are not edible. So. You've been forewarned. <laughs> so, there you go. So, I'm done cutting those. So, now I'm going to get around dead. get dressed because I'm still in my PJs. And get outside and Get working on my kerosene heater again. I need to put my paint on them because yesterday I primered them. So today is the regular paint and then I'll start painting on my sunflowers by hand. So until then, you guys all have a great day. Be safe. Peace out.